Our planet is a marvel of nature, teeming with life. But there's a problem, we've created waste. Every day we throw away mountains of stuff. This is municipal solid waste, or MSW for short. MSW is everything we discard. It's the remnants of our food, our packaging, our old clothes. Everything we no longer need ends up as MSW. This waste poses a real danger to our environment. It pollutes our land, water and air. We must find better ways to manage it. MSW, or municipal solid waste, comes from a variety of sources. Cities, towns and villages all contribute to the growing problem of waste management. Each area produces its own unique mix of waste, from household trash to industrial refuse. Urban areas, with their high populations and dense living conditions, generate the most MSW. Think about all the people living in apartments and houses, each contributing to the waste stream. Their daily activities, from cooking to cleaning, create a lot of waste that needs to be managed. Factories and businesses also generate a significant amount of waste, adding to the overall MSW. This industrial waste can be very different from what we throw away at home, often including hazardous materials. Rural areas, while less densely populated, still contribute to the overall MSW problem. Farms, for example, produce waste from crops and livestock, which needs to be handled properly to avoid environmental damage. Community efforts and educational programs are essential in managing and reducing MSW. Innovative technologies and recycling initiatives play a crucial role in addressing the challenges of MSW. By practicing sustainable living and reducing waste at the source, we can all contribute to a cleaner environment. In cities, most MSW comes from homes and apartments and businesses. This includes food scraps, paper, plastic and other materials and more. We call this residential waste. Shops and restaurants also produce a lot of waste daily. Packaging, leftover food and other items make up a large part of their waste. This is commercial waste. Managing urban waste is a huge task. Collection, transportation and disposal all require careful planning and coordination. We need efficient systems to keep our cities clean and healthy for everyone. Section 4. Industrial waste, a different beast. Industrial waste is a different story. Factories and manufacturing plants produce materials that can be hazardous. Chemicals, metals and other industrial byproducts require special handling. Some industrial waste can be recycled or reused. This helps reduce the overall amount of waste we produce, but some waste needs special treatment to make it safe. Proper disposal of industrial waste is crucial. We must protect our environment and the health of people living nearby. Section 5. Rural waste out of sight, not out of mind. Even in rural areas, waste is a concern. Farms generate waste from crops, animal manure and packaging material. Managing this waste is important for the health of the environment and farm animals. Rural communities also have homes and businesses that produce waste. Collection and disposal methods may differ from those in urban areas. We need to find solutions that work for all communities, regardless of size or location. Section 6 is dealing with our waste. Waste management is a critical issue that affects every corner of the globe. From bustling cities to rural areas, the challenge of managing our waste is ever-present. Dealing with MSW, or municipal solid waste, is a global challenge that requires immediate attention and innovative solutions. The sheer volume of waste generated daily is staggering, and it's a problem that transcends borders. We can't just keep piling it up in landfills. These sites are not only unsightly, but also pose significant environmental hazards, including soil and water contamination. We need to find better ways to manage it. Innovative waste management strategies and sustainable solutions are essential to address this growing problem effectively. Recycling is one important solution. By separating our waste into different categories, we can ensure that materials like paper, plastic and glass are processed correctly. By sorting and processing certain materials, we can give them a new life. This not only reduces the amount of waste that ends up in landfills, but also conserves natural resources. Paper, plastic, glass and metals can all be recycled. Each of these materials can be transformed into new products, reducing the need for raw materials and minimising environmental impact. Composting is another way to reduce waste. 
By composting organic materials, we can turn food scraps and yard waste into valuable fertilizer. Organic materials like food scraps and yard waste can be composted to create fertilizer. This process not only reduces the volume of waste, but also enriches the soil, promoting healthier plant growth. We also need to reduce the amount of waste we generate in the first place. Adopting a zero waste lifestyle and making conscious choices can significantly cut down on the waste we produce. That means being mindful of what we buy and how we use it. Opting for eco-friendly products, reducing single-use items and making thoughtful purchasing decisions are all steps we can take to minimise our waste footprint. Section 7. A Cleaner Future As we look ahead, envisioning a world where our cities are not just smart but also sustainable is crucial. The future of waste management is about finding smarter solutions. Technology can play a big role in this. From advanced waste processing plants to smart city technologies, the possibilities are endless. Imagine a city where trash cans automatically sort recyclables. These automated systems can significantly reduce the burden on human workers and increase efficiency. Or sensors that track waste levels and optimize collection routes. These innovations ensure that waste is collected only when necessary, reducing fuel consumption and emissions. The concept of a circular economy is gaining momentum. This approach focuses on keeping resources in use for as long as possible, extracting maximum value before recovering and regenerating products and materials. This means designing products with recycling in mind. Companies are now prioritizing eco-friendly designs that make recycling easier and more efficient. It also means finding ways to reuse and repurpose materials. Creative reuse can turn waste into valuable resources, fostering innovation and sustainability. By working together, we can create a cleaner, healthier planet. Community involvement is key, as collaborative efforts amplify the impact of individual actions. We have the power to reduce our impact and preserve the natural world for generations to come. By embracing these technologies and practices, we can ensure a sustainable and thriving future for all.